Jennifer Priest here with another version of the Daily Scrapbook page. And today I'm going to be using some Stephanie Bernard ink from Clear Snap, as well as one of her stamp and die sets from Sizzix. So I've already die cut some of the pieces out using the dies, and then I'm going to use the stamps to stamp on it and create this fun little uh, kid-themed scrapbook page. is just use some uh, regular white glue to adhere this strip of paper to the top of my layout base and this is actually some Bow Bunny press uh, new paper that they have oh maybe I want to use nope I want to show this side and I'm just using some basic white glue nothing fancy this is book binding glue or a PVA uh, formula glue All right, so I'm just gonna glue that guy to the top there. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and move that out of the way. Or actually, I'm gonna turn it over so that I don't get ink on my work surface here. And I'm gonna start stamping my little trees. So I have a couple different trees, and some of them are gonna be a little bit too dark to stamp, and that's okay. So I die cut some that are out of this darker brown. So I just won't stamp those guys. And I wanted to create this little like forest across the top of my page. All right, so I have a stamp block here. And I'm just gonna apply my acrylic stamp to it. These stamps are made by, um, I believe they're made by the Stamps of Life, which is Stephanie's company. So they're really good, high quality acrylic stamps. A really nice uh, formula that they have. So I'm going to stamp some of the lighter ones. I'm going to see if this Stephanie Bernard uh, Premium Color Box Dye Ink Pad and Mustard will show up. Now you could stamp before you die cut if you wanted. All right, cool, so that does show up. So I'm gonna do these craft paper ones with the mustard colored ink. And this craft paper is uh, from Basil. summer show a color box cleaning pad so this is actually like a stamp pad so what's nice is that you can store it the same place as your stamp pads and it's small and you can take it with you but it has a formula on here to clean your stamps it's really cool you just wipe it on there and you could use if it's like a little too juicy which at the beginning it'll probably be you can use um, a paper towel just to kind of clean it off and dry it off and when this starts to dry out have like a re-inker but it's not ink it's a re-cleaning formula applier that you can use to put more cleaning fluid on there